So what does 2001 Space Odyssey? Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Marty McFly? And the Jetsons have in common. Retrofuturism. It's what people in an earlier era thought the future would look like. And it's with this retrofuturistic lens that we need to look at the Moser Streamliner. I'm Max and this is WatchCrunch. WatchCrunch.com is an online discussion platform built by watch nerds and for watch nerds. More about it at the end of the video. So let's talk about the Moser. This is a watch I've seen in pictures and I've always wondered what's the fuss all about? I mean, $20,000, the Streamliner doesn't have a carbon fiber skeleton or a case made of sapphire, but I had a buddy visit from out of town who brought his for me to check out. And once I held this watch in my hand, I immediately knew that there was something special. Here, let me explain. The Streamliner comes in three flavors. First, there was a flyback chronograph, then a perpetual calendar, but this center second version, which some call the Green Dragon, is the simplest and purest expression of what Moser believes a high horology sports watch ought to be. What makes it high horology and why does it cost more than a rental car? Let's get back to that in a minute and first just focus on the design. Now, I, for one, feel like the current integrated bracelet craze has gone a little bit too far. I mean, just because you can make a watch unable to accept a strap, it doesn't make it somehow better. In the Streamliner, the bracelet is actually, well, integrated. Is this a square case? Is it a cushion? Whatever you want to call it, it's about 40 millimeters wide and 40 millimeters long. Now 50 if you measure the widest portion including the bracelet, but there are no lugs to speak of and the first link articulates straight off of the side of the case, making this about the most wearable 40 millimeter squarish watch that I've ever tried. The case features radial brushing on its top surface with polished bevels running along the side that continue into the bracelet and a channel cut into the mid case to prevent too blocky of an appearance. There are no straight lines in, in the hand that makes this watch feel organic. It doesn't have hard edges and it's round and slippery, much like a well-polished river stone. Just don't try skipping it at your local pond. Now, Moser calls this dial Matrix Green, presumably referring to the Keanu Reeves movie. Looks more like a deep emerald to me, with a sunburst finish that changes shades from different angles. This is what's called a fumé dial, which is French for smoked. The color fades into black toward the edges, which adds a certain perception of depth. There is a subtle checkered pattern for a minute track, but my initial impression is that the style feels a little bit sparse, especially toward the bottom. But I guess Moser really wanted you to get fully hypnotized by the Matrix. Near the 12, there is the H Moser and C printing, which is somewhat verbose, especially on this vast emptiness of a dial. I do wonder what this would look like with just the name Moser, perhaps even in an applique, but what do I know? Hey guys, please take a second, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you also think that there is no spoon and we might all be living in a simulation. <laughs>
72 hours of power reserve, and 120 meters of water resistance. It's a gorgeous movement with a striking gold rotor, Cote de Genève across the bridges and blackened screw heads. The balance is free sprung from a full balance bridge. Now, speaking of water resistance brings me to my second small critique of this watch, and that's this screw down crown. Now, I don't find the finishing of this crown particularly inspiring, and that M looks to be in a Times New Roman font, which clashes with the sweeping curves of the M on the dial. Now, the Streamliner was actually named for trains in the 1930s. See, after the Great Depression and with the mass adoption of automobiles, rail travel was in trouble in the United States. So designers got to work introducing bold aerodynamic designs and fitting them with powerful diesel engines. The Zephyr was such a locomotive making its inaugural trip in 1934 from Denver to Chicago in merely 13 hours, which was about half the time that it usually took. Now, my favorite part of this watch I've saved for last, which is the bracelet. Now, on most watches, the bracelet is an afterthought, but here it stands alone as something special. Each link has complex curves and undulations, and they articulate over each other in a way that can only be described as reptilian. Biomimicry is a design principle where we look to nature for engineering solutions. For example, the Japanese bullet train mimics the beak of a kingfisher bird, and the edge of next-gen wind turbine blades copy the fins of a whale. Each link here partially overlaps with the next, like the tail of some creature only found on the sea floor. Their surfaces have creamy, fine brushing, revealing a polished interface between the links only in a flex position. The byproduct of this organic shape is that it conforms really well to the contours of your wrist, and a twin trigger release allows the mechanism to be fully hidden, merging the two tails of the green dragon. So the Moser Streamliner is simple yet complex. It's historic, but also futuristic. Is it worth 20 grand or whatever it's trading at on the secondhand market? Well, I think that depends on the buyer, but I also think that this watch compares favorably amongst offerings from the Holy Trinity. Some even argue that Moser may be the next FP Journe. But if you're looking for something different, something that looks like nothing else in a market where everyone else is copying each other, this might just be your watch. But what do you think? Let's continue this conversation on watchcrunch.com. Now, you can think of WatchCrunch as a retro-futuristic discussion platform for watch lovers, a place that combines the vintage knowledge base of a forum with the modern interface of an Instagram, all without snobbery and the internet police. If that sounds good to you, I'll put a link to a thread on this watch in the pinned comments below. As always, great chat, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.